This whole building is smoke free. Work is one of the only places Chris Felton is not around smoke. She quit about a year ago, but her husband still goes through a pack a day. He is back smoking in the house and uh, probably the best present he could give me someday would be for him to quit. Even though she broke her habit, Chris's continued exposure to secondhand smoke still puts her at a significantly higher risk for lung cancer. That the rate of cancer in non-smokers who are exposed to tobacco smoke is about 25 percent higher than in the non-smoker not exposed. The new research also shows there's a direct correlation between the number of years a person is around a smoker and their cancer risk. Ways to cut that risk? Have others smoke outdoors. Don't smoke inside the house because regardless of whether or not you're smoking in a closed bathroom with a window open, uh, it, this tobacco smoke is contained within the footprint of the house. Chris says she hopes the longer she stays away from cigarettes, the more her husband will be inclined to quit. So I hope that he sees, you know, that, oh, well, that's not so bad. I'm not good. If she can do it, I can do it. For Baylor Healthcare System, I'm Dr. David Winter.